car tag confusion. Are you overpaying for your car tag? In a 16 WABC special report, Tammy Eswig found out you need to keep a close eye on your boundary lines. Seven identical cars, every one the same make and model. But when the car tags came in the mail for these 16 WAPT Ford Escapes, we found a major problem. On some of the notices, it says the total due is over $600. The other ones, a little over two. And we're trying to find out who's accountable for the difference. We went directly to the source. Tax collector, Eddie Fair. It depends on what the address said. It depends on how it's labeled. Municipal, separate school district. Okay. Look over here. See, you don't have it. None of that's listed here. Right. It's a $350 mistake. The tax collector says the 16 WAPT news building is located right outside of the Jackson City line, along with hundreds of other residents. His workers blame mispunched numbers on the confusion in the office. Here is where the, the address. Is what it says on your car. Yeah. So this is how our clerks actually looked it up. We couldn't find it like that, so I had to call mapping so we could see what the problem was while we couldn't find the address. All of this is in the city of Jackson. All of this is in the county. Charles Stokes is the Hines County tax assessor. His office is accountable to set and check the city boundaries. The city of Jackson, also the county, has been working real hard to try to get that clean up. We asked him how seven cars bought at the same time have conflicting addresses. We've had different things that we found here in the city where it will be a, a wrong address, but when we pull it up on the map, we can identify to where that property actually is. So when, when the person did that one, they looked at it and saw Jackson, and they just plugged it in Jackson, and, and that's why it's, it's like that. This, this one here, it, it was probably already on the road, and they did it for the, the county. So that's what's different. We're going to cut you a check for them. The tax collector cut us a check to give us a refund. But what about those other people who live on the city line? Eddie Fair says in the last year he's had about five to ten people complaining that they're in the city of Jackson versus the county or vice versa. Now that could leave some people digging deep in their pockets. Now that could mean the difference between people living on the Hines County side just paying $200 versus people living on the city side right over here paying $600. Do you do know you're on the Jackson side of this yes, road, I mean, right? We on the Jackson, they on the on the, on the county. So they're paying cheaper taxes. Paying cheaper like uh, uh even with uh with the house uh taxes. You paying like uh I'm paying like a thousand to their hundred. According to this map, Maddox Road is split. One side is Jackson. The other side is Hines County. John Hicks lives on the Hines County side of that road. Right across the street is in the city over there now. And you gonna pay uh, uh, more money for a tag over there than he is over here. Just we are in right the across the street. Oh, yeah, just right across. Hicks says he paid $250 for the tag on his 2007 car, but when he bought it new, it was $600. Have you encountered problems like this before? Yes, we have. Yes, we, we've had people sometime who would, uh, the address may say Jackson, uh, especially when they changed some of the, the uh, they did some annexation. Uh, some of them say Jackson, but yet still it's in the county. And we have to look that up. We have to make sure that the tax assessor has that information and has it correctly. If they do, then we'll look at it and whatever, if we owe the person, we'll refund them. The tax assessor says maps in his office are the final say on what side your property is on. And they remap the land every decade. Oh, that's something mandated by the state. Since we have when? to do it every 10 years. Really? Yeah. And, when and did, when's the last time we did it? We just did it 2014. These were not moved. They stay the same. And the only thing we do is try to correct them um, if there is any wavering in them. And that's why we got the new uh, flyover air photography and stuff that is dead on. So a warning tonight, if your property falls close to a line like this one, keep a close eye on your bill. If you don't want to pay taxes, you better leave the review car alone. In Hines County, Tammy Eswick, 16 W.